What's good everybody, welcome to the K-Pop Findings. I'm Jeff, and today we're checking out Onu's Blue. I believe this is his debut solo, I think. Regardless, it's gonna be dope. I know Shiny's going to the military soon, so we gotta react to this before they dip. I'll add a link to this music video in the description box below, so you can check it out later. But aside from that, grab a seat, grab someone a drink, and let's see what we find. That intro was probably shorter than usual, but uh... I'm just excited. I want to see what I'm. I'm curious to see how Onu plays this. Let's go. Blue. Okay. It's starting off pretty blue. Is it defrosting? No, it's refro. No, it's defrosting. Okay. Oh. Sounds like water. I I'm kind of. Well, it's cool that um shiny and SM has been like. Blasting their titles at you, so it's very, very obvious within their videos. This feels like a sad song with that heavy violin. Oh, piano. Ooh, he flexing vocal muscle hard here. Shooting star, yo, he's flexing vocal muscle hard right now. Like. Wow, yo, yo, yo. This is a strong ballad. It's slow. It's... Wow. Yo. The high held out no and wet feet. I feel like he has the style that, uh, dress style that Shiny's been kind of rocking this year too. Pretty consistent. Walking out of the house. Now he has shoes. Good job. Have shoes. Yo. Uh, I don't know if he's flexed vocal muscle like this before, but they're strong and inconsistent. Why does he have shoes and not have shoes? It's a balloon filled with water. There's definitely like some, some deep message here. Pop it. Pop it. You won't. Oh, this fish. Don't pop it. Actually, it's okay. There's water beneath your feet. Okay, now, uh, next object. A flower that's resurrected. Damn. Yo, his vocals are killing it right now. Uh, I doubt I've got some shivers, man. Oh, two blind people. Does she have a hole in her? They're all blinded. Everyone's blinded, but you. There's definitely a deep message. I'm just missing it right now. But this this music video gives me some kind of like key vibes, just setup wise. Like it gets abstract and like spacey, but except he gets sky -y. Oh, eyes are glossy. He's gonna drop a middle tier. If you see a middle tier, they're fake. If you see side tiers, they're usually real. Usually. He's dripping. Why are your hands wet? Wait. Is it you? It's good. You're gonna see yourself. No, you didn't. Okay, never mind. Yo, why? What, what, he looks. OD oh, I'd be OD scared too. Is he being judged? Oh, oh. This star is about to knock you out. Oh, no. Did his wish come true? Is that what this means? Ugh, yo. I got sh Yo, his voice is killing it right now. Facial expressions on point two. The house is busted. Oh, is he gonna put it, put it back? Maybe it has his memories. He has the power. The power to turn back time. Put it back! Put it back! Do it. Do it. Turn back time. Do it. 
No. He did turn back time. Oh no. He's back to where he was before. Oh. So, so. Um, I also have to read the book because it's so deep I couldn't memorize everything. So, in the very beginning, this was very irrelevant, but there's a book on the table and it says 13 o'clock. I looked it up, I'm not reading it, it's way too long. Or just too long for me to go through. And it's like some political American book. Case in point, it's super irrelevant, I read too much into it. Thanks SM for leaving a random book for me to overinterpret. So in the very beginning, it's a very clean set. The house is dark, kind of old, but still clean. It's defrosting, and it's kind of becoming pristine. So we can assume that at some point, it was frozen or it was damaged. So Onu wakes up, and he's barefoot, and he walks over to the window. Window's clean, and the shooting star is there. He sees it go from left to right. He's like, alright, cool, magical. Then he walks over to somewhere else and takes this crystal. We assume he takes the crystal with him, because A, he picks it up, and B, it's just not there. So we assume he puts it somewhere. He then leaves and goes out. His feet are wet. He's killing us with the vocals. So good. And then he passes by this fish, goldfish, balloon, water, thing. I don't remember what fit tank. Right? Regardless, it kinda I feel like it kinda represents solitude. It's that the two fish are isolated within that balloon. And the balloon is also very fragile. So being isolated can also be a very fragile idea. Why do I say this? Because the next thing he sees is a flower in a kind of case. The flower is kind of resurrected and there's like a wilting petals around it. This kind of I think this represents the solitude because the flower is alone and it feels more rejuvenated. The whole premise of this music video and even the lyrics is that Onu enjoys the solitude he has. He was hurt by whatever position, whatever relationship he was in the beginning and because of solitude, he feels better, he feels more free. In the lyrics, he mentions how, it may not be dark translation, but if he were to have to go to the bottom of the seafloor within the person he's talking to, He'd rather go up to the surface and be free. So he's basically trying to get away from this person. And he's not afraid to kind of venture into this darkness or a new spot that he's not familiar with. Back to the back to the scenes in the music video. We go and see that there are people now. One person has a like gaping hole in their chest. And I think this resembles the pain that that person went through because of him becoming isolated. And then he see He's walking. I think he sees a figure of himself. It's not clear, but it looks like it. As he looks there, he turns around and sees all the people that was were there before looking at him. I don't believe at any point they couldn't see him even though they were blindfolded because they turned at the exact moment. They might have heard him walking. He's on water. But regardless, they were able to see him. And I feel like they're judging him for what he's done. And he's just like, oh crap. But then, the crystal thing, the shooting star, comes back, and it was the crystal thing that he took from before. So, he did something with that crystal. Maybe he, that was his wish, and he kind of gave up on his wish. There's a lot of interpretations I have going on, but it works, it works, trust me. So he catches it, and I assume that it's his wish, and he walks away. So, after seeing the solitude, the images of solitude, and having people judge him, he's like, nah, that looks way better, I'm gonna head back into the house. The house is broken up. Before it was clean, but now he has the crystal. He's walking back in, he puts the crystal back, it's a flash, and he's back in the position where he first saw the star, going from left to right. So, he probably went back in time. So, he basically went back to the time when he was happier and alone. And he might repeat the cycle, but he's reached a point where he's happy. We don't know actually, because it doesn't show him walking out. But, we do see that he's back to the original spot of him being low. That was my interpretation. It may be wildly inaccurate. Let me know, but that's what I thought. It's just him enjoying being alone and the symbols and all the pains that come with not being alone, the people that judge him for it. But in the end, he's happier alone. He likes being alone. Outside of that, instrumentals are dope. Consistent piano, consistent violin, heavy. During the chorus, the violin really stretches out his vocals are on point. 
the held out notes, the just the sound of his voice. It's just crazy. Like, hits his high notes. Not really a falsetto, but it's like a crisp high note. It's held out well. Everything about his vocals were on point. I got no complaints. It was surprising. I've never seen Onu in this life. I'm glad to have seen it in this life. I like this song mainly because of the vocals. His vocals, like, just wreck you. It's really good. I'm... It's really good. So that's it for Onu's Blue. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And any recommendations you got for me in the comment section below. Dope. Vocals are on point, my guy. I'll add a link so you can enjoy them vocals and it'll be in the description box below. And as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can see up to date, see up to date, stay up to date with all the stuff I drop. All right, guys. On to the next time. I got you.